support to Thailand and it's just um, been a wonderful um, project for me uh, because not only am I raising funds to help um, our youth here in our country but it gives me an opportunity to share my country with the US so all the fundraisers that I've had and dinner parties to discuss the needs of uh, our country I've been met with overwhelming support and um, everyone you know, has such a love for our country, for its um, kindness, for its graciousness, its beauty, its food. Yeah. And um, so whenever I mention um, Thai children and the needs of, I've never come across a no. So it was very um, overwhelming during the time of the tsunami to get the, the kind of support that I got, not only financially, but um, emotionally. emotionally and everyone was just so on board. So in uh, conjunction with my fundraising for the victims there, I wanted to um, come up with a project that will be um, an ongoing project, not only for the youth down in Phuket, but the children in general in here in Thailand. So this teaching um, scholarship was my idea. And um, with the help of the mayor of Phuket, we were able to receive some wonderful applicants, and she helped me screen them and collect them and, and um, do the selection process with me. And we set up, a, I think, what's going to be a nice um, prototype for the, um, the provinces to come. So today, we're going to meet um, my top four applicants. We have a dozen for this year, um, designated for this year. And rather than rush and get um, you know, as many you know, scholarships as we can, we really made a concerted effort to cut it down um, to the most promising. And that not only goes with grades, but intention. We want um, to pick candidates who have intentions on being students, uh, teachers, not just students, and that will go home and really do the job that this program is intended for. And I, I'm really proud of the four applicants that are here today. And that's why we called this press conference, is to honor them, um, honor the mayor for her help um, in setting up this big, um, this big project, because this is, like I said, a pilot um, project. So there was a lot of setting up and organizing involved, and she was um, very instrumental in seeing this through with me. And uh, hopefully, um, we'll be able to do this more smoothly and more effectively in years to come. And um, aside from the charity that you have, um, are you a part of any other charities in America? In America? Yeah, many. Like Make a Wish or anything? Dream Foundation. Dream yeah. Foundation. Have, uh, is this in, in LA or are you based in Los Angeles? In Los Angeles. Oh. I'm actually on the board of um, Regents at Pepperdine University, my oh, alma wow. mater. So, um, Studying campus. <laughs> my school is beautiful. So I'm honored to be on that board. So it brings my uh, reach to, of education. So what board is it in Pakistan again? The Board of Regents. The Board of Regents. R-E-G-E-N-T. Um, it's the Board of Trustees at Pepperdine. Trustee. Oh, right. Okay. And so we make policies and okay. support the students there. And so it's become full circle. I started as a student, mm. and now I get to help students. That's great. So Thank it's, you. Um, it's very dear to my heart. Is there going to be any more foundations coming up? More foundations. Well, this one is um, very, you know, uh, much um, has for, you know my full focus right now is on Angels Wings and uh -huh. this project. And Angels Wings is actually a children's foundation, so we can branch off into um, other areas. But right now, this is my primary focus, and it's requiring a lot of, you know, time and um, and focus to to get it done right. And it's not something that I just want to do for the sake of doing. I'm, I take on this project because I really feel like we can make a profound effect um, in helping the children and, and 
affecting their well-being in the future. And if we have great students, we're only going to have a better country. So I, I'm really proud of this, this program for the future of the province. And set, I really wanted to set something up that can be long-term. This is something that can be ongoing. Okay. And who better, you know, if you're going to help the children, teachers are really the exactly. heroes in their lives. Next to their parents, these are the people that are raising our future. Right. So why not um, give them the most support that we can? And there's a lot of wonderful students out there. Uh, the criteria for the for the um, scholarship is they have to be from poverty. Mm -hmm. So they lack the opportunity to uh, make this journey on their own. Okay. And uh, secondly, they have the talent to uh -huh. Um, see this through because everyone okay. can be a teacher, but we yes, want good right. teachers. Right. So the four that you're seeing over there are all A students. They're dedicated to their studies and they're dedicated to going back to their province. That's the other condition. Is this is a rural teaching program. But they have to go back. So they have to go back and okay, educate great. their community. So like passing on. Exactly. Kind of thing. Okay, that's exactly. great. Thank you. Well, we've received hundreds of applications. Okay. And uh, the mayor has received them <coughs> on Angel's Wing's behalf. Then from there, we, um, we do a selection process based on their abilities and um, uh, potential for, for being a good um, teacher for their community. Because we want someone that is really dedicated to the mission of this um, scholarship. And the mission is that they've been given a gift, and then they have to give that gift back by going home and educating um, giving back what they've learned to their community. And we ask nothing in return other than that. And it's a job. It's not They don't go back and volunteer as a teacher. Mm -hmm. They go back and it's, a, it's an occupation for them. The mayor has helped me on every level, from the selection process to the um, recruitment. And at the end of this uh, five-year term, she will find employment for them okay. as well in, in, the, in their